Lubbock radio personality JR says he applied to be on HGTV's House Hunters just on a whim, never really thinking he'd get the network's attention. Well, he was wrong. JR has just been featured on the show's latest episode looking for a modest house that fits his quirky style and his cat, too. Gail BK's Jack C. Pigeon caught up with him at his new place. 1057 The Red Dirt Rebel. Hey, what's up? It's JR, and this is your concert calendar. All the details are online. Go to theredirtrebel.com. Typically hidden behind the mic, this Lubbock radio personality took a shot at being on the big screen for HGTV's House Hunters. JR had mentioned something about applying for House Hunters. I thought, well, he'll never get in. No problem. I got an email back from them on my application within like an hour and a half. After doubting her co host, Roberta would tag along for what would end up being a lengthy but fun experience. I thought it was going to last like a couple hours. I mean, it's a 30 minute show. You know, I was wrong. It took it took five full days <laughs> and then some. But it was it was exciting. I was really honored that he included me in that. From once living out of his car to renting, the thought of buying a house was hard to grasp for JR. My whole goal is because I was homeless once before, never again, but the anxiety level of being a first time homeowner is pretty high. While this might be JR's debut on reality TV, it isn't his first time in the spotlight. I open the door and there is something hanging, a liquid bag on my door. Is it? Luckily, there's been no sight of milk at his new place. It's been kind of crazy. Every day I walk in and it gets a little bit more normal. And I don't have any milk bags on my door. Uh, that's been really great, which is strange considering my last apartment. The House Hunters episode featured three potential homes. One struggle for JR, finding one that could accommodate a six foot seven man. I fit in it just fine. <laughs> There's plenty of room in here, <laughs> so it wasn't a huge problem. He would land on a remodeled three bedroom, two bathroom home, all within his budget. JR says he spent several years working hard, saving money, and paying off debt. That all led up to him finally being able to call himself a first time homeowner. It's hard to go from being homeless and hiding in a bedroom in a closet, not being able to pay your rent, to now he owns a home, he's got a welcome mat, he's got a spare room, so I'm really proud of him. Every part of it has been every day getting to do something else, and the little to-do list I found really fun because it's something of mine I get to improve and make, make it mine. Jaxie Pigeon, KLBK News.